kind of responding to to um man a lot of people uh was saying that they seen me with charleston during the uh, trap boy freddy incident uh, i just came out here to let people know that i was not with uh charleston white during the trap boy freddy incident uh just to kind of give you some backstory on that there is a video going out that you know charleston posted uh that uh you would see me in the background with charleston um for the context, uh, that video was, of course, um, Charleston White came through, did an interview last, I want to say last Thursday, Thursday, and then that interview, is, it's out right now, we're going to have the uh, the new one drop tomorrow on the Real Life channel. Um, uh, last Thursday, did an interview, uh, then he said, at, during that interview, he said, uh, hey man, uh, I feel real good about this thing, um, I want to go and do a podcast, you know what I'm saying, I want to go and... Uh, do a podcast with you guys. So we like, I bet, let's do the podcast. Uh, you want to do it right now? He's like, nah, let's just go and do it tomorrow. And I'm like, all right, cool. We're going to you know, run it tomorrow. Now, with that being said, uh, we do the uh, podcast the next day on Friday. And, of course, we already say we're going to go out, break bread, uh, go to the club, uh, you know, kind of whoop de whoop And uh, that's exactly what we did. We had a great podcast. We all went out, uh, broke bread, uh, went to, I believe it's called the clubhouse or something like that. And afterwards, we said, uh, while we're there, we're like, hey, uh, you know, let's go and shoot over to 5 a.m. Charleston White has some people in town. Uh, so we're like, yeah, now nah, let's go and shoot over to 5 a.m. I've never personally been there myself. Uh, I don't think he's ever been there himself. So we're like, all right, let's go. Uh, we went there. We had a great time. Uh, uh, also, Hurricane Chris was, uh, he, did a, he did his interview Friday as well. So after his interview uh, was done, we did the podcast. And then, you know, everybody dispersed. We went out with Charleston. Hurricane Chris went to go do whatever he did, but we all ended up at 5 a.m. Hurricane Chris showed up. Him and Charleston, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, for better or for worse, they locked in. Um, and, uh, yeah, we just had a good time. Uh, we left out. Uh, you know, Charleston is a man of the people. A uh, bunch of rappers, a bunch of young young dudes. The, the new generation, they pulled up. They grabbed them. Hey, you know, hey, we love you, Charleston. We love you, huh? Uh, and that's where you see me right there with him, you know what I'm saying? Because pe technically we done. We all we, we leaving for the day. We kind of we kind of done for the day. So uh, we all head out. Uh, he gets a lot of love. I'm in the background, you know. Real life gets some love too. But you know, normally we off camera, so we don't get that Charleston love. But you know, if they hear our voice, they'd be like, "Hey, yeah, you the dude off the, the real life street stars." Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, uh, we post up, uh, getting a lot of love from the people. Charleston's talking about, you know, you see him. Hey man, I got love from the people, man. I got love from the people, man. This is for the people. Uh, so you know, you see that kind of love being given to them, and um, we kind of take it from there. Uh, we leave. Uh, we we're done. The night's over with. Uh, Dab Charleston up, man. Hey, I'll let you. So I assume he must light five a.m. because again, I think the next day, which was Saturday, I think he went back uh, himself by himself again. He went back to go holler at the people, do his thing again, turn up, whoop the whoop. 
And um, yeah, he went back. And he, uh, I'm not gonna lie, he might have went back a few other times. I don't know when the exact. Well, we know now that the exact day of the Sexy Red event or the Trap Boy event with him was the day Sexy Red was supposed to be there um, at 5 a.m. So technically, I believe he might have went back two, one or two more times. Maybe let's just say let's just say one because I don't know, but I know he went back there one more time. And then uh, the night of, you know, again, the Trap Boy Freddy thing. Uh, he was there again that night. Trap Boy just got out free. Uh, you know, re- you know, welcome home, Trap Boy. Uh, so he goes out with his crew. And um, I don't think Trap Boy had nothing to do with all this. It was more so maybe his people uh, that might have just, you know, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I can only assume. But maybe they want to turn up for the camera or something. Or maybe they really had problems with Charleston or whatever. I don't know what it was. But uh, there is a video out there. Y'all seen it. You know, Charleston uh, looks like he's by himself. But, you know, the night that we went, Charleston got love from the manager. Uh, the doorman, the security guard, so he locked in with everybody. He locked in with the manager of uh, 5 a.m., the promoters, and the door the door dudes, you know what I'm saying? He showed everybody love. So off top, you know, this is their first time probably seeing Charleston at the 5 a.m. spot, which is in, you know, downtown Dallas. Uh, they probably already like, hey, man, this dude's a cool dude. He's cool people. Um, nah, he, we locked in. Plus, he go back the next night and spend more money, and take. he's taking care of the uh, the go-go dancers. He's taking care of the waitresses. He's taking care of people. He's, he's showing everybody love while he's in there, at least while I'm there. He's showing everybody love that pull up on him, want to take a picture. It's all love. It's all good times. So I think they automatically locked in and said, man, Charleston's a good guy to have up here. So uh, I believe the night that Sexy Rare is supposed to be there, once you see Charleston, he's already locked in. He's already showed so much love from the nights before. So, um, yeah, they probably locked him in. And you, you're going to feel safe when the people show you love genuinely. Like, hey, if something happened, we're going to make sure you good. You know, that's, what, that's how he moves. Uh, hey. They, they, they mess with me. The energy here is good. They mess with me. So, therefore, you don't need security when the people's your security. So, with that being said, um, to see that all that happened and transpire again, I don't know. I wasn't there, so I don't know what happened. But to see Charleston White yelling um, uh, at Trap Boys people, uh, to see him go home and post the next day, uh, you know, you know, he back on his, he back on the, uh, he back on him, you know what I'm saying, to see him post all that. And uh, kind of go from there. It is uh, bittersweet. It is kind of sad that, you know, as we're getting to a point where, um, of course, I know even on our interview, he had his words about Mo3 and Rainwater and things like that, or just his opinion, let's just say. Um, you know, to go back on the other side and say, man, I, I got it wrong, man. These boys out here, you know, y'all go watch Charleston White's page. Uh, Charleston underscore White Manager is where you can see all that content. Uh, but you go watch all that and see what everything he said about, you know, everything. Um, I just want to let people know that, no, I was not there the time that that happened. I was not uh, with Charleston that day. Uh, the day that I'm seen with him was uh, a few days before, uh, which was our both our first time at 5 a.m. Shout-out 5 a.m., man. It's a dope spot. That was my first time there. Uh, Shout-out um, DJ Tuss. I know DJ Tuss was in the building. Shout-out Tuss. Um, Shout-out a lot of people I seen in the building, man. Uh, I, seen, I seen some people. Shout-out Hurricane Chris. He pulled up. So, yeah, nah, just kind of give you and y'all the heads up. Um, that was not I. Um, shout out Charleston White for even uh, pulling up with us, for even doing the podcast. The podcast just hit 100K in one day, so y'all go watch that. It's just a good conversation, you know, on the Real Life channel. Uh, very dope conversation. Just go peep that, and uh, we go from there. But uh, with that being said, uh, let's see. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, full Charleston interview coming out tomorrow. Uh of course, you know, on uh, Real Life Joker channel, on this channel, uh, we're going to have the TK Kirkland uh, One Gotta Go drop tomorrow as well, uh, 1 p.m. Central. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. So if you're watching this after that, uh, September 7th, 1 p.m., you'll see the TK Kirkland. Y'all go click that. I might post a link in here somewhere. Uh, but go watch that. Uh, very dope. And uh, with that being said, uh, what else we got? Um, yeah, once again, rest in peace, uh, Rich Homie Kwan. Um, yeah, that's just crazy, man. Rest in peace to B King. Uh, that's just crazy. Rest in peace and Channing. Uh, all these are just crazy. And uh, kids, you know, don't do drugs. Um, I don't even know if it's drug related, but don't do drugs. Uh, you know, try to stay sober. Uh, try to work sober in uh, life. You live a long time. You live a long time. So, that being said, appreciate y'all. Just wanted to give y'all an update. Uh, I'm going to probably do some more updates in a second, but. That's one I want to get out for y'all. So, appreciate y'all. Y'all.